everyone! Today we're going to learn how to do a quick bit of craft. We're going to turn something that's a bit plain into something a bit more decorative. So the first thing you're going to need is a bucket or a bowl, something that you don't mind that's going to get a little bit ruined on the inside. You need to fill this up with water. Now, however high I want my design to go is how deep I need the water. So if I'm going to submerge it down, it needs to be able to cover it but you'll see why soon. You're gonna need a paintbrush, which is gonna make your swirls, and then you're gonna need some nail polish. It doesn't matter which brand you use, but just remember, whatever you pour in, you're not gonna get back, so don't waste your expensive stuff. Okay, step two. You need to make sure you've got enough nail polish to be able to pour in. So let's see. Oh, I've got enough gray, which is good. So I'm gonna pour that in doesn't really matter what pattern it makes right now and then I'm gonna go for a bit of black not too much because the pigment is gonna be a lot stronger than the grey and then I'm gonna try a bit of mustard see how that turns out okay so it just looks like splodges in the water for now then what I'm going to do is get my paintbrush and I'm going to make swirls. Lovely. Okay, ready for step three. So you can use a plate, balls, vases, pots, anything you want. If it's white, the colour does go on better, but experiment, see what happens. So this is the fun part. Now I'm going to submerge this in. Because I'm going like this, a lot of the colour is going to go onto the bottom, so we'll see what happens. Moment of truth. And I'm just giving it a twist to pick up all the colour. Ta da! One marbled pot. I'm going to pop that down to dry there. And that is it. Leave it to dry and then use it. And go nuts. Make as much as you want. Decorate everything you've got, give them as gifts, but they look fantastic, which I'll show you once this one's dried. And if you're going to do more with this, I would recommend you take out some of the old pigment because it leaves like a film on top. And if you try and use that, it's just going to make your next project not as pretty as the other one you've just done. Okay, so I'll clean out my water. You can just start with fresh water if you want to. You should just be fine picking it out like this. And then you're ready to go again if you want to make some more. So enjoy, have fun, and see what creations you can come up with. <laughs>